Okay, for this video we're going to be looking at how to keep track of the articles you found that you like. And for a premise, let's say that I like the show Modern Family and I want to do a paper that has something to do with this television show. So I've done a search on Modern Family and TV um, so that the articles are not just about modern families, they have something to do with the television show. And I've got some results, I've got 267 articles, we're just going to look at the first 20. Um, normally, of course, you would be a, a better student than that and you would look at more than 20, but just for today, we're going to look at just 20 articles and choose some that might have something to do with the television show. Um, when you're looking at the results, sometimes you're going to see this list of subjects of the article and that makes it a lot easier to figure out what the article is about. So in this case, this does have something to do with the television program. However, I'm going to be eliminating all of the things that are like um, People Magazine or just reviews of the show. We need to find some sort of angle for a paper. So I found a few that would be a possibility. Um, so here's one from the, an article from the Wall Street Journal called Happy TV Families Aren't Alike and this article previews several television programs that depict the modern image of family. So that would be one option of an angle for using the television program. So I want to keep track of this one, so I'm going to add it to a folder. Then there's another one down here called Pop Quiz from National Journal. The author comments on the image of the U.S. portrayed in the cable news outlets as well as primetime television. So that other article has to do with how they portray families. This has to do with how they portray the United States. And that sounds like a possibility, so I'm going to keep track of that one. And then there's one here, um, Why So Many Brands Want to Be on Modern Family and So Few Will from Advertising Age. Um, the article discusses product placement on the television program Modern Family. So that could be a different angle about how television programs um, feature different products and how they make the decision what they're going to feature. So that would be a possibility. So I'm going to add that to my folder. So now I should have three articles in my folder. And to find the folder, you go back up here and click on Folder. And now here are our three articles. Alright, so at this point you have some different options. You could print everything or email what's in this folder. The folder is temporary. It's going to go away as soon as you lose your connection or log out of EBSCOhost. So you could individually send these to yourself or you could send the entire folder and to send it you would click on select and then you would email and you would get a message in your email with the information about these articles and for the ones that are full text you will probably get all the text of the article in your email. Another option that you have is to make an account for yourself. If you sign in with an account, then it, whatever you put into your folder after you sign in will stay in your folder permanently. So if you're working on a semester-long project, you could just keep adding to this folder and then you would be able to keep track of them that way. And to, if if you've already created an account, you log in. If you've never created an account, it's pretty easy. Click on Create a New Account and fill in. You see there's not a lot of personal information. First name, last name, email address, username that you decide on, and your password. And then you select a question that they can prompt you with in case you've forgotten your password. 
and you want to be careful um, to avoid identity theft if somebody hacks into their computer. So you want to avoid things like mother's maiden name or city of birth and definitely not the last four digits of your credit card. So stick to things like your father's name or your pet's name or your favorite book, things like that. So then when you create your account, then it should keep track of what's in your folder permanently and it will stay there until you clean it out. Each one of these different ways of keeping track of articles have advantages and disadvantages. Um, say for example, you create an account and you forget your login, that's a disadvantage. Um, also, sometimes you send your entire folder through email and the miracle of cyberspace, you never receive it. So um, that can be a disadvantage. So the advantage there would be if it's in the folder, it stays in the folder as long as you can remember your passwords. Okay, so those are some ways to keep track of the articles that you found. Let us know at the library if you need any help with that.